The reason I retrieved this magazine is because the speaker then, Kaparo, allowed Senator Orengo to move an adjournment of a budget reading which was being read by the then Minister for Finance, Musali Amudavadi. It was not procedural that a budget could be adjourned, but in this magazine, Mr. Speaker, Senator Orengo was heard in silence. What was he asking, Mr. Speaker? He was saying, we can't have a budget unless we have constitutional reform. Mr. Speaker, although Senator Orengo did not succeed on that day on the adjournment, this country has changed and we have a new constitution. Mr. Speaker, we will not proceed today unless we have those three senators. If we have to sit on this table, we will sit on it. Because, Mr. Speaker, I am in this Senate. Mr. Speaker, I was elected in this Senate because one person who was a member of this Senate was found dead on his bed, Senator Mutula Kilonzo, my dad. And if it's not Malala, and if it's not Lelegwe, it's going to be me or you. The former President Moy may his soul rest in peace as the President of the Republic allowed Senator Orengo to tell him on his face that he was misleading the country. We must tell the President Uhuru Kenyatta that we will not allow. This sort of thing cannot happen in Kenya. In 2020, Mr. Speaker, we are calling upon you to adjourn this house. Tell the IG we need the senators here. Unless those senators have committed treason, which is not bailable. Mr. Speaker, those senators should be here to conduct their business. I have represented Senator Haniri. Yes, I have I represented Senator Haniri when he was an assistant minister. When I was a young man, he was released on his own personal cognizance as an assistant minister. Even if there was an offense committed, those gentlemen can come here and we will represent them in court. But if my good friend and person who calls me my father, Senator Orengo, who is here, and for Gisio, who allowed this special sitting, is going to allow this, this sort of thing to continue, Mr. Speaker, there is no reason why we are a legislature. We should call ourselves members of county assemblies. It is extremely upsetting, Mr. Speaker, that senators have to hide People have to switch off their phones so that you are not traced by the police. When did this become a police state? When Senator of Nairobi, Sakaja, we raised a concern here. I know Senator Kangata had an issue about what happened to him. But this is exactly what we were saying. That when one member of this house is in trouble, Mr. Speaker, it doesn't matter what agenda it is. It doesn't matter who is winning. What matters, Mr. Speaker, is that we are together in this house to do the business of this country. Nobody is doing his personal business here. Mr. Speaker, I second this, this motion that we adjourn this business until we get confirmation. Mr. Speaker, who knows? While we are conducting this business, what is happening to Senator Lelegwe? He could be found in Gong Forest. They could inject him with something and kill him slowly. I have seen the pain of death. I have smelt death. I have seen what happens when somebody gives you poison. You bleed and bleed so much like my father did. May, may not happen to another person because we are not conducting personal business of any person. I support. Thank you, sir. Honorable Senators, I now propose the question, which is that the debate be now adjourned. Senator Haniri. Mr. Yes, Speaker, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I stand to support this motion in the strongest terms possible. Mr. Speaker, we cannot sit here 
and continue with debate on the, f on the formula for revenue allocation, when three of our colleagues, three of our colleagues are under arrest and we do not know why they are under arrest. It is not a coincidence, Mr. Speaker, that all the three are members of Team Kenya, and I hope you understand what I mean by Team Kenya. It is not a coincidence. Mr. Speaker, what is happening in Kenya today is unfortunate, it is sad, it is most absurd. We must condemn this in the strongest terms possible. Mr. Speaker, what we are witnessing is what used to happen in the years ago when some of us were younger. And I remember, Mr. Speaker, What's your point of order, Senator Uta? 